Hi guys, as part of today's lecture, we will look at how to interface the ARM embed platform with a seven segment display. So as part of today's lecture, I will be discussing how to interface the seven segment display which you have seen in your previous lecture and how we will connect it to the embed kit that you have and then we will look at the program and I will also explain to you the logic of the program and then we will see the implementation in the next sub lecture well then let's move forward so this is your embed platform that you have now you can choose any of these digital IO pins that you have here you cannot use these ones to be specific these ones so whichever you feel convenient you would like to use as part of today's lecture we will be using these five terminals leaving this blank intentionally and then we will be using these four terminals to connect up to the seven segment display so again the the question that you might ask is why did we do that why did we select these the answer is no reason if you would like to use any of these or any of these it's your choice I just felt like using these terminals so we are going to use PTA 17 through PTC 13 then PTC 11 through PTC 5 so if in your course you're using the embed LPC board then make sure that you look at the connections shown in the lab but today's lecture I will be focusing on the Freedom 25Z board okay so just a quick revision of the seven segment display as you know that the seven segment display has 10 pins with each display having one LED which is A, B, C, D, E, F and G and this is the pinout with A starting at pin number 7 which is here A, B, 5 is your display point here 4 is C 3 is your common anode so let's just call this A 2 is your D 1 is E 10 is G and 9 is F so again just a quick revision that if I want to display the number 0 which is A is on B is on C is on D is on E is on F is on and G is off in that case since this is a common anode means my 8 my pin number 8 or my pin number 3 must be 1 and if I would want A to glow or A should be on then at pin number 7 I will give 0 B should be on then pin number 6 is 0 again if I want my display point to be off then 5 will be 1 4 is C's if C has to be on then again 0 and so on and so forth so now how do we use this logic to actually operate a 7 segment display so as you see here this is the connections that we'll be making now if you're using the embed board that is the LPC board you can use these connections but since we are using the freedom board 
we will look at the connections that we are going to do here. So we connect PTC 6 to pin number 7 that is A, PTC 5 to B and so looking at this list let's look at a more clearer view that is here so if I start with pin number 1 which is E E is connected to PTA 17 which is this terminal that is here then pin number 2 is connected to PTA 16 pin number 3 is connected to PTC 17 pin number 4 is connected to PTC 16 mind you this is A and this is C pin number 3 is, that is PTC 13 is connected to pin number 5 5 is A I'm sorry 5 is your display point your pin number 4 is C pin number 1 is E pin number 2 is D now pin number 6 is B which is connected to PTC 5 PTC 6 is connected to pin number 7 PTC 10 is connected to pin number 9 PTC 11 is connected to pin number 10 7 is A 9 is F and 10 is G now you might be wondering why have we not connected pin number 8 the reason is that you can you can either connect 3 or 8 or you can connect both one is sufficient because both are the same terminal that is the common anode so again PTA 17 is connected to E that is pin number 1 PTA 16 is connected to D that is pin number 2 PTC 17 is connected to pin number 3 that is D PTC 16 is connected to pin number 4 that is C PTC 13 is connected to your display point that is pin number 5 PTC 11 is connected to pin number 10 that is G PTC 10 is connected to pin number 9 that is F PTC 6 is connected to pin number 7 that is A and PTC 5 is connected to pin number 6 that is B again you can choose to use any of these connections any of these connections it's your call again as long as we get the program to work that's great okay so now let's understand the program for operating the seven segment display first most important we need to have the header file included here that is the hash include embed dot h now previously we use the digital out function here we will use a new function called as bus out bus out means if I would like to control more than one pin at a time then I would use the function bus out means I can give an output to more than one pin at a time and I can specify all the pins that I would want as a part of my bus so today we've learnt a new function in the embed platform that is the bus out in the previous lab you've used the digital out in this lab we'll use the bus out okay so bus out is the function uh, my variable name is display one or disp one again this is your name that is you specify it and now 
I will start specifying in the order of A, B, C, D, E, F, G and display point. So a quick revision as I said A will go to PTC 6, B will go to PTC 5, C will go to PTC 16. So similarly PTC 6, PTC 5, PTC 16, then D will be PTA 16, E will be PTA 17, F will be PTC 10, G will be PTC 11 and display point will be PTC 13. Let's check that display point that is pin number 5 goes to PTC 13. So here I specify my pin numbers and now I need to specify the output for the digital out that is my common anode. So my common anode that is my pin number 3 will be given to PTC 17. Again if we will quickly just go through it. Pin number 3 goes to PTC 17. Perfect. And then I use a function. Now this is again something new. I am declaring a function whose name is set VDD. Now in programming we can declare user defined functions which we can use again and again. So I use a function called as set VDD where I am making my common anode terminal where I am making my common anode terminal 1 means it's always on and now I let's look at my main function as part of my main function first I will make anode on or 1 now I am assigning a value disp1 is 0xc0 let us understand this. 0x means a hexadecimal value and c0 means c stands for if you look at 8 stands for 1000, 9 stands for 1001, 10 which is a stands for 1010, b stands for 1011, C stands for 1100. So 0XC0 would be equal to 1100000. Now how, what does that mean? That if my display 1 is equal to this, so in effect what happens is my A is 0, my B is 0, my C is 0, D is 0, E is 0, F is 0, G is 1, display point is 1. So this is the lowest end which is A. This is the highest end which is DP that is my display point. So remember if A is 0 then my A is on, if B is 0, B is on, C is 0, C is on, 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 off and off. Well now you can try and figure out the logic for F9. Let's see what F9 will look at. So if my value is F9 F is 1111 9 is 1001 So this is A, this is B, this is C, this is D, this is E, F, G and display D, TP. So 
since a is 1 a will be off now since a is 1 a will be off since b is 0 b will be on since c is 0 b will be on d is 1 so d is off 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 and off so now what you have is you have the number 1 so this is 0 this is 1 so now you can figure out the logic of 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and that said I also include a delay of 0.9 seconds after each number so first I display 0 I wait then I display 1 I wait then I display 2 I wait and so on and so forth and since this is in an infinite loop this will keep on repeating itself okay let's quickly go over this program again just as a revision first I specify the embed.h header file then I use the bus out function since I would like to control more than one pin at the same time my ordering is a b c d e f g d p so this is a and this is my display point this is the msb this is the lsb that is the most significant bit and least significant bit then I use a single pin for my digital out that is for my common anode which I set one here using the set VDD function then in my main function I call the set VDD function which makes my anode one and then I use display one is equal to a hexadecimal value 0x some value means a hexadecimal value and then I wait for 0.9 seconds and then I display the next value I wait for 0.9 seconds and so on and so forth okay so that said I hope this lecture on the seven segment display was clear in the next lecture we will see the lab session on how to implement this using the embed board